it makes it so plump and glowy even with just one layer i just honestly i can't get over it i have been obsessed to say the least with this lip gloss Minasan konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to share my morning skincare and makeup routine. If that sounds like your thing, then please go ahead and channel toroku. Shichatte kudasai! So a few months ago, I shared my unsponsored nighttime skincare routine and a lot of you guys seem to love it. So I thought I would finally share a typical morning routine of mine. I do change my skincare and routine according to how my skin is feeling or what I'm targeting at the time. So it's not like the same routine every single day, but I thought I would share some products that I have been using lately and that I have been enjoying. And on top of that, I'm actually going to be sharing my everyday kind of makeup look as well because a lot of you guys do ask for this too and I feel like I never share makeup. It is also because I change my makeup like pretty much every single day. I don't usually stick to like the same products all the time but I am sharing the ones that I'm using the most lately and to kind of create this look that I feel like I've been doing a lot good for everyday wear. It's natural but still kind of enhancing my features. Since I dyed my hair especially I feel like I tend to go for these kind of colors and before we get into the actual routines as you guys saw just then like the lighting will change um kind of frequently because i decided to film in 100 percent natural light so you guys can kind of see more what it might look in reality more than just like the you know artificial light so it is pretty temperamental and also the rest of the video is going to be with a voiceover because i talk way too much whenever i'm talking through my routines so yeah i really do hope you guys enjoy it <laughs> Starting off with a fresh face, this morning I did just do a water cleanse which is when I just rinse my face off with some lukewarm water without using any product or any cleanser. I do have dry and dehydrated skin so this does help retain some of my moisture and a lot of recent mornings I have been semi-regular in using my LED mask. This one's the one from Current Body. I'm not going to use it today just because I am going to move on to makeup straight away and as I mentioned in my other video it can leave a little dent in my nose sometimes. For the first First step today I am taking one of the white rabbit textured cotton and taking some of the Misha essence on it and doing a quick swipe down. I've been opting to do this instead of patting it into my skin recently just so I can get a really really um, gentle amount of exfoliation every day to keep my skin nice and smooth and supple. Since I do have that dehydrated skin I am going to go in with a more hydrating layer of toner the COSRX Pro Polis Synergy Toner. I just absolutely love love this toner honestly like even a small amount goes a long way it really does instantly hydrate my skin it makes it so plump and glowy even with just one layer I just honestly I can't get over it and I went through this toner like so quick and although it's a little bit out of order um I'm gonna put on my lip balm now because I just realized that my lips are feeling a little dry I'm just using the mentholatum premium what's it called melty cream lip it's honestly like a standard fave these days it's just a so good it really does moisturize and yeah you saw that I snuck in a extra layer of that to Cosrx toner because it's just so good. We are going to follow that up with my absolute holy grail serum at the numbers and number three. I have started incorporating this into my routine again because I was off it for a while and my skin just thrives off this. Whenever I'm using it my skin is more soft, more smooth, more even. Whenever I'm feeling like my skin is a little unstable, a little like textured, I put this back in my routine and I swear it just works magic still to this day so I have been using it almost every day again this is like my third or fourth bottle and yeah I think I will just forever continue to use this one it also does add a nice little glow too. For my second serum, I'm using the P Calm Light Active Ampoule. It is one of their newer products that I've been testing out and it does target hyperpigmentation. It is a small bottle, so I'm just taking one drop and kind of spreading it in the areas of concern for me, which is the C zone. Now they talk about the C zone a lot in J Beauty because it tends to be where a lot of Asian people see sunspots first. I mean, you can even see it on my skin. I do have a couple there already, but it is an area that we target a lot in Asian beauty. So I just 
applied a little bit in that area to try to help that pigmentation. Next, I'm using the Claire's Fundamental Eye Awakening Gel for my eye cream. This is such a light gel consistency for our eye cream. It is so refreshing and it does work perfectly underneath makeup because it does not feel heavy, it does not peel, and it really does just absorb into the skin easily. I do also like to um, apply my eye creams in areas where I have any fine lines and wrinkles. Next, I'm just gonna grab a tiny little bit of the pear acne cream. This is my go-to spot treatment. And as you can see, I do have a bit of a spot on my chin at the moment. So we're just going to try to keep that at bay, not let it get too worse. This spot treatment has the most elegant texture. So it really does blend away to nothing and wears amazing underneath makeup as well. For moisturizer today, I am using the Natchudia Hatamigi Skin Conditioning Milk. I still love this. Oh my God, I can't get over it. And it has been my go-to for underneath makeup. It is just such a nice lightweight emulsion that does hydrate, um, lock in all that other skincare and moisture without feeling heavy or greasy at all on the skin. And now the last and most important step of our morning skincare routine, I will be applying my sunscreen using the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Milk. I kind of forgot about this and I recently got back into using it and oh, it is it is beautiful. The texture is really, really elegant. It blends so easily. It doesn't leave a white cast. And it is definitely one of the very few milk SPFs that I actually enjoy. And it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry, even though I have drier skin. So I absolutely love it. I wish it came in a slightly bigger tube because it is only 40 mils. But yeah, I'm like just hooked back in and using this one almost every day now. Now we are moving on to makeup. I am first going to apply a little bit of a green primer. This one's the Clavu White Pearlization Mint Primer. This is just to help some of the redness that I get, especially in my upper cheek. And I think I got this one in like a little mini three set, but the actual primer does come in at 30 mil, but it's a really nice light, but hydrating texture that has a little bit of a pearl in it. So it gives your skin that natural kind of glow look as well, which I enjoy. For my base, I will be using the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop in the shade number two. I do like to apply a little bit on my hand and then use a flat foundation brush to spread out a thin layer across my skin. Compared to say a tinted sunscreen, this one does give a little bit more coverage, which I feel like I want sometimes, especially right now when I've got a couple little blemishes on my skin. I would say it does have a fairly natural finish, so not too dewy and not too matte. Since I do have dry skin, I usually put on a mist at the end of my makeup anyway, so the finish is not too much of a concern, but I do love the amount of coverage. Next, I'm going to be using Using the Sum Tip Concealer. I don't know how long I've used this concealer. I feel like it's almost like 10 years since I discovered it because it is just so affordable and really does work well. It has good coverage, good texture, literally like no complaints. And I always just end up coming back to this one because it is so easy to use. I just apply a small amount in areas that I need coverage or a little bit of a highlight and blend it all out with a cushion puff. Next, I'm using the Etude House Big Cover Concealer. Compared to the someone. This one is closer to my actual skin tone, so I'm just going to use it to cover just a couple of those blemishes. Another kind of old favorite of mine, it is affordable and also a really nice creamy consistency, so you can definitely use it for under the eyes and other areas as well. We are going to use just a tiny bit of powder, the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Blotting Powder. I take a generous amount on my brush and then basically like knock off most of the product and try to just lay a very thin layer usually under my eyes across my lids across my brows and anywhere else that tends to get extra oily or where my makeup tends to wear off easily moving on to the brows I'm using the Etude House drawing eyebrow in the shade number one dark brown first I just kind of brush out my hairs to get them kind of in line and even and then I like to define the bottom line of my brow and then the outer edge I then brush out my brows again to give it a more of a soft the look. I am going to follow that up with the Sum Brow Cara in the shade number four. I have only been doing this recently since I dyed my hair. I feel like since my ends are lighter, the strong dark brown brows can be a little intense. So I do lighten them with this lighter brown shade. Now it is time for eyeshadow. I'm using the Romand Better Than Palette in number five shade and shadow garden. Picking up the shade White Pebble as my main um, eye base. This 
This palette is honestly amazing for everyday wear because it is just a collection of matte warm toned nudes, which are really, really easy to work with. They literally all go together. So I honestly will change up like which colors I'm using on the day to day. Right now I'm using the soft beige and sand scent and kind of mixing them together to create the first defining color on my lids. I do like to take a pencil um, eyeshadow brush to kind of work on the bottom lash line. Lastly, I am taking the shade Evening Shade to add a little bit more depth to that outer corner. Now, this next part is totally optional, but I'm going to use the Dasik Shadow Palette in number one Sugar Brownie and grabbing the kind of shimmery shade to add that pop of glitter on my lid. I just love some glitter. It is so hard for me to stay away from it. So I'm just adding that kind of medium glitter shade to my lids. And then I'm going to pick up the lighter glitter shade and add it to the inner corner just to open open up my eyes and make them appear a little bit larger. We are going to continue to add a little bit of extra glitter using the Peach C Champagne Eye Glitter in number two Valentine Pink. I have been using this one non-stop. It is the perfect peachy shade for under the eyes. I do apply it all along the bottom to add that fine glitter and then I grab a little q-tip to pick up the bigger pieces of glitter and add them to under my eyes as well and I just love the way the glitter reflects whenever you turn your face as you can see it just you know it's a little bit of fun since I want to keep this look soft but defined I'm going to continue with a brown pencil liner using the Clio sharp so simple waterproof pencil liner in number six choco brown so I do try to draw the eyeliner from my outer corner to about the middle of the eye and then I will grab a slanted brow or eyeliner brush to brush out the corners into a very soft wing this way you can still get that definition without it being so bold and strong like a liquid liner. Just quickly curling my lashes with the Muji eyelash curler. Now we're going to move on to mascara. I am going to use the Hero Make Curl Keep Mascara Base as a mascara primer. I don't use this every day but since we are keeping our look pretty muted I want to put a lot of energy into our lashes to make them pop. So I'm just going to apply a layer of that primer first and then following it up with the Romand Han All Fix Mascara in L03 Long Hazel. So we are continuing with the brown theme. We're going to keep it soft but defined. And you can see the brush of this mascara is so small and thin. It is very easy to use, especially for short, thin Asian lashes. And it does keep that length and the curl all day. So I actually do really highly recommend this mascara. It's been a recent new fave. For that glow, I'm going to be using the Clio Prism Highlighter Duo in number one Cream Fizz and I'm going to be using that slightly more golder shade on the right hand side. I don't go too intense with my highlighter these days but I do like to add a little bit to the high points of my face to add a bit more dimension. Now for the thing that's going to tie this whole look together, I'm going to use the Tower 28 Beach Please Blush in Magic Hour. I absolutely love this blush. It just goes with everything. It is the most beautiful, neutral, nude, warm tone, and I have been using it nonstop, absolutely nonstop. It can come on a little bit strong sometimes, but since it is so easy to blend out and layer, as long as you keep kind of blending it out, it does give that really naturally flush look on the skin and I have been using a generous amount just because I don't use any bronzer or contour. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of micellar water on a q-tip and cleaning up any um, excess product on my lips. I actually find when there's like extra product on your lips it can alter the formula of the lip product so I like to clean it off and start with a fresh base. First on the lips is the Etude House Fixing Tint in at number four ginger milk tea. Initially this color does seem quite orangey like an orangey brown and it seems a little intense but once you blend it out with your fingers it turns into this most beautiful soft coral nude color and I like to use it as a base so even if like whatever I wear on top fades away it does keep that tint shade on my lips and then I'll be using the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Cashew. I have been obsessed to say the least with this lip gloss. I bought it while I was in the US and honestly I, I just wish I bought more shades because it is the most comfortable lip gloss. It feels like a lip 
balm. Yet it's like tinted well and it really does make your lips look juicy and plump and I just have been loving this lip combo. Quickly recurling my lashes from on top of my mascara to keep them lifted all day and of course my makeup look is never complete without a spritz of my favorite mist, the Dalbar Fur Spray Serum. As I said earlier, um, even if I wear like a semi-matte matte foundation, I always finish my routine with a mist which helps my skin rehydrate, look glowy and make basically any makeup look flawless. So I just can't be without this one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my morning skincare and makeup routine. If you do want to check out some more content, I have selected two videos here so you can hang around a little bit more. And if you guys want to kind of keep up with me, you know, see what videos are coming, make sure you subscribe as well. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mwah.